as you can see, after this tutorial, you will be able to align yourself to surfaces. It'll be smooth and simple. First, I need to set up a scene. I'll be creating a terrain object. Also turns out um, the mesh of the terrain was weird, so I had to redo it basically. Um, but it should be fine. So go to um, update and put in surface uh, alignment. Uh, I got spelling. E. I hate it when that happens. And then <laughs> so let's create a new function. And then do a raycast, physics.raycast. Uh, make a variable called ray so we can specify its direction the ray is going towards, like the ground. So transform.position, negative transform.up. Um, I do a raycast info, I mean recast hit, call this info, you could also like do this, um, do re out info, um, we need also, I forgot to also make a layer mask, serialized field, layer mask, god, what is ground, and then you're gonna have to make an actual ground layer, transform.up, or transform.rotation actually, um, turn in dot, uh, from to rotation, you'll get vec 3 dot up, then info dot normal dot. And it should, um, work, but there's one problem, and it would be that the x, y, and z rotation would be locked. So we're gonna fix this in a sec, but we're gonna test this first. Let's see if it uh, create a um, a new layer by just pressing add layer and then brown, and then just assigning that layer to brown. But I already created the ground layer, so um, okay. What we're gonna do? Oh yeah. Um, And it should be working. And you can kind of see that it's kind of like snapping to the surface. Uh, we're gonna like fix that in also a sec. But you can kind of notice that um, if I do this, uh, it's. But also that kind of messes it up. But if I do this, it won't actually just like rotate down. Unless it does exit out of the um, terrain, because the recast isn't detecting it anymore. So we're gonna have to revamp this. Turian dot lerp. We're doing lerp instead of like smooth interpolation because we could customize the, uh, the time it takes to uh, interpolate. We could edit that with an animation curve. Do so transform dot rotation. Turian dot from to rotation. Transform vec three dot up info dot normal, but actually uh, there's some like animation curve. It's so, like animation curve, so like you can get any effect you want. Also, maybe I should do flow time. Field. Ah. 
time. Also, I should probably move this over here. And move this down a bit. Keep it organized. Dot evaluate time. Uh, capital T. And it should work as long as I um, assign that time variable. <sighs> This, uh, this curve, why not? Or this curve. But, uh, I'll do 0 0.25, and yeah. Uh, but we're also we're gonna fix the, um, the locking of the rotation. But it should not snap anymore, yeah. Just as long as you, um, make sure these are so yeah, it's uh, it's not as snappy anymore. It's not so sudden. So we're gonna fix the uh, locking rotation. Quaternion rotation ref equals quaternion Euler Take this. Transform that rotation equals quaternion dot Euler, and just take rotation ref, and then keep the rotation of the Y, since we want the player to rotate in the Y axis, and rotate dot Z, and yeah, that should work. And also, you could also implement ground check th through a uh, bool, doesn't keep uh, aligning with the surface midair, as you can see still works. Sort of. Um, I messed one thing up. Hold on. I need to make this quick. uh, Euler. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, yeah, you might want to go back and just change it to Euler. Because you're converting, um, Euler angles into quaternions, and transform that rotation is quaternions. Also, <laughs> change this to, um, Euler angles. Because after all, you want to keep the the Y rotation of the player, so it'll fix that. So everything should be fine, it should be working, and you can do whatever you want with it. Yep, it works. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, um, we're basically done. See ya.